Now in this video, we will learn how to redraw the given figure. After observing carefully this video, we will learn how to read given figure, how to read the dimensions which are given in the figure. Also, while drawing, we should be capable to control the line thickness as well as darkness and you will learn some dimensioning rules. Now we will learn how to set the mini tractor as a mini tractor is a powerful drafting tool. It enhances the accuracy and speed in drawing work. The setting of a mini tractor. For mini tractor this L shaped MM scale is given along with a protractor scale. Now for zero setting, a reference mark on a red color base plate and zero angle on protractor scale should be aligned with each other as like this one. It is called as a zero setting. Then align this bottom edge with a margin edge of a drawing sheet by using this knob. This this alignment helps us to have accuracy while we are proceeding in drawing. Now consider the three figures which we have to redraw. We draw the square of a 80 mm side by using the mini adapter or a set square. By using the techniques or method which we have learned in geometrical construction, divide line AB and DC in 10 equal parts and through this square draw lines which are inclined at a 45 degree by using mini adapter or a set square. Now actual demonstration of a Redrawing of a figure 1 is uh, shown here. Construct square having side of 80 mm by using the mini tractor. Do the dimensions by using the dimension line having arrows at its both ends and put the dimensions of 80 mm. Through this corner, draw line which is inclined at an random angle. Now take the compatible distance in compass and the set 10 points having the equal distances. So the 10 points are marked on this inclined line. Now by setting the mini doctor in this way, now we can draw the parallel lines which are passing through these points which already we have marked on inclined line which will help us to divide one of the base side of a square in 10 equal parts. Now as a target is to draw the inclined line having an angle of a 45 degree so the diagonal is also at a 45 degree so we first draw this diagonal then draw these parallel lines which already we have marked by using the geometrical construction Now to draw such parallel lines in the upper portion, divide the BC in 10 equal parts by using these techniques that is by using the mini raptor. So mark these points.
and again to this point draw the lines which are inclined at 45 degree while drawing this redrawing uh, re this figure the darkness and thickness should be controlled by maintaining the proper hand pressure on drawing pencil first read the given figure carefully observe its dimensions and decide the procedure or sequence how to draw given figure first draw the square having side of a 80 mm then divide the square in four equal parts and by getting the different center points as like the corners of the square draw the circles quarter circles and semicircles see the actual procedure <coughs> how to draw the given figure by observing this video first draw the circle of a 80 mm line by using the set square By setting the set square in this way, we can draw the line at a right angle having 90 degree angle with a base line. I set the distance of a 80 millimeter. I can draw another vertical line having an angle of a 90 degree by setting the set square in this way now draw the fourth or last line of a square by using the set square in this way the front line are just drawn for the reference point of view now as we have to divide the square in four equal squares so mark the midpoint of the sides of a square by setting the distance of a 40 millimeter now through this draw a horizontal line so that we can divide the given 80 millimeter side square in four squares having side of a 40 millimeter now we draw the square sorry now we draw the circle having radius of a 20 millimeter take this distance in compass and take this center point and draw the complete circle by using the compass the circle should be the dark Previously, whatever the work we have done, it should be very tight. Now with the same distance in compass, that is a 20 mm, draw consider the four corners of a square having side of 80 mm. Draw these four quarter circles. Now next we have to draw the semicircles having the same radius. Now consider the midpoints which we have marked on a square per side 80 mm. Let's complete the four semicircles. This in the circle should be the dark. Draw the semi circles by using the compass within a single stroke. Means once the tip of the pencil is placed on a drawing sheet, it should not be lifted again 
until the semicircle is completed. Again, draw the semicircle within a single stroke. Single stroke is very important to control the line thickness and darkness. The next part is to do the dimensions. As already we have considered this as a reference line, so it should be the very fine. So we have to erase it. I'll give the dimensions of a circle having radius of 40 mm. This is the dimensioning techniques which is used for dimensioning of a circles. Dimensions of this semi circle. Be careful that the whatever the numbers and letters which we are using for dimensioning should have same height. Approximately, approximately it should be the Now observe the figure number 3 carefully along with its dimensions and decide the sequence or methodology how to redraw given figure. The next video will explain how to draw the given figure.